Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I have the craziest bike I've ever seen. This is a wooden bike made with pure love and attention by one careful owner that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And here it is, look at this thing. It's had so much work done, the detail's crazy. Um, he's had to make the bottom bracket part himself here. He had to stick all these bits of ply together to make a head tube. We're not sure how strong it is. I mean, it is wood. It's quite light and it's very well made. It's got a, it's got a back pedal brake on it. So um, pedaling backwards stops you. It's like a kid's bike, it's so strange. Uh, the bars are in the weirdest position ever because he's run the stem backwards there just to get the bars a bit closer to this seating position. Got a nice old <laughs> horn on and it is just a ridiculous work of art really. So today we're going to be testing this bike to its absolute limit to see how long it's going to last. I actually think it's going to last longer than what you do because, I don't know, it's quite good. We've still got metal dropouts for the wheels, we've got normal forks, metal wheels, metal bars and all that. So really it's just the frame. So let's give it a go and see how it is. <clears throat> So good. Cruising on my little wooden beast. Oh, I've encountered one issue. Look at where the bars go into your knees. Look. I might just put a normal stem on. Nah, that'll make it way more fun. Right, you've seen this ridiculous thing now. Let's get out of here and see what the first place we go to ride is. We've now come to the first location, which is Hadley Bike Park. This is quite a beginner zone, but it's gonna be a perfect place to test this bike out. We're gonna start off on this actually really awesome pump track they've got going on here. I'm gonna start slowly to make sure it doesn't break instantly, and then we'll get crazier and crazier as the day goes on. So let's see how it's gonna perform then. Oh, surviving so far. Oh my god, that is so sketchy with the back brake. Oh, oh my god, that's horrible. Oh, I'm having a race now. Quick, race you, mate. Yeah, I'm winning on a wooden bike. Yeah, but you're 30 and he's like 10. Oh, yeah. Shredding the gnar. It's so hard to control. That stem's so weird because steering's all loose and that Louis. Please give that a go right now, it's so weird. It's quite uh, intimidatingly scary, just even sitting on it and biking from there to here, all like this and stuff. So I'm just gonna drop straight in and send. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's that brake thing. Oh, it's death. Oh, I'm gonna hit this kid. Let's do an inside line. Oh my God. <laughs> It's actually quite fun. You just gotta remember to not pedal backwards. Just such a scary feeling. Cool, it's actually really nice, but it's quite busy with children, so we're gonna go to the skill zone and try it over there. I'm at the top of this rock garden of doom. I'm just going to go straight in, test the sort of... Oh, oh no, the bars move. <laughs> that was death. Louis has just proved there the versatility of the bike, from pump tracks to downhill trail rock gardens. But can it get air? There's a small little jump section here in this beginner zone. I'm going to see if this thing can fly. Let's get it. Oh, it's so scary, actually. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. A little nose bonk. That is the best. 
I'm going to go again. Let's see it in slopes. I think I might have broken it already, but not the frame. Look, them cranks have just moved so much. Can you see how bent they are there? Look, I don't know how that guy made them cranks himself, so hopefully I can just sort of stamp them back into place. But that means we're not gonna be able to get that mental with it. Let's go over there and see if we can find a steep downhill section because I guess jumping and landing is obviously too much for this thing. Let's go over there and have a look, Lubes. Right, we've come over to one of the trails here. I actually forgot how cool it looks. As you can see, there's loads of berms rolling down this hill here. So let's see how far I can get down it on the wooden bike. Hopefully these cranks hold up because right now that's the only issue of this bike. Here we go. Oh, it's so horrible to have to pedal back to slow. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, God, that's bad. Oh, oh, it doesn't even work. You take your foot off. Surviving. Yes. Full length trail on a wooden bike. <laughs> Dreams! The cranks held up! That is so, so horrible. That's the slowest I've ever been down a trail. And it was probably one of the scariest. Like I said, when you stand up, you've got to pedal back to brake. The front brake doesn't really work. And I thought it was going to snap all at the same time. But it didn't. It still exists. So let's find something else in here that's even worse to ride. Literally just next to that trail I went down is a pure rock garden. So I'm going to see if I can make my way down slowly. Oh, Ooh. oh my god, that is terrifying. Ooh. Oh my god, into the steep bit. Yeah! Stomped! My cracks are all bent. Yeah! No way! This is the best bike ever made! Sick! Those boys there behind said they're scared to do it and they're on full suspension bikes. They're gonna stomp it right now! For the vlog! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, he's down! I'm alright with that, it was on the cold. Yeah, go on Jed, laughing away at your mate up there. Here we go. Feather those brakes, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Clean, nice. Well good. The power of wooden bike peer pressure. Go on mate, this is it, yeah, let it float. Yeah, nice. Just let it go mate. Yes, yes. Oi! Oh, hey. oh yeah! Oh, another stack. <laughs> ah, he's just picking up some daisies, isn't he? Awesome. Nice one, boys. Sweet for that, boys. That was the uh, wooden bike peer pressure. Oh, yeah. See what else we can do on this absolute beast. We've now come across to the famous stair set zone on Leon C here. The classic one is over there and that's the vertical straight one, but we actually never ride this one here to the left. And it's quite interesting because it curves its way down the hill and should be perfect for this bike. Now the bike's upside down, so I want to show you what issue we're facing. Basically, the cranks are doing this now, you see? They're so easy to move because this little piece in here, if you have a little look, there's a tiny hole there and it needs this little piece of metal to be sticking out. And with all that like jumping I put through it, it seems to have gone in and now the cranks can just do that, which obviously sucks. Kind of annoying, but I'm still gonna hit this and hopefully I survive. So I guess there's only one thing for it and that's for you to get down there, Louis, and me to send. Let's get into it. Here we go. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Smack. Oh, what's that? That's the cranks, isn't it? Oh no. Oh. 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 Oh my God, it's weirdly smooth though. Don't go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. Oh, it snapped. Something's broken. Oh. Oh no. Almost there. Oh. Oh my God. That was so horrible. It didn't even break. It was the bars folding down. Wow. Oh. Thanks. That was pretty amazing stuff. Wow, yeah, thank you. Especially on a wooden bike. Yeah. Wouldn't you believe it? That was really scary. I thought the bike was breaking. It was actually just these bars moving. So what we need to do is tighten them bars up. We need to get them cranks fixed. Maybe we can just find something that will just tap a bit of weld in there quick, I don't know. We did survive down there though. It really does need some downhill forks and more modern handlebars on there though, doesn't it? All right, let's see if we can find another final thing for this beast to endure. Right, after a few phone calls, this welding place we've just turned up at reckons he might be able to give this a quick fix. So I'm gonna get in there, show him what we're dealing with, and uh, hopefully he fixes it for free. Let's have a look. So the guys here at JD Fabrication said he's gonna hook it up for me. He's just gonna get a bench ready, nip up that little bit, give it a bit of a weldage, and then uh, should be able to get back on it and land a final sort of banger for this video. So thanks a lot to these guys. Well, they haven't done anything yet, but if they do it and it works, thanks a lot. So let's see what they're gonna do. Wow, this is a proper workshop, isn't it? Well sick. There we go. Bike's done, we can continue the shred then. What a result, that is so good. Bike's fixed, straight back in. We gotta think it's something good now it fully works, haven't we? For the little final banger. See where we end up. Right, we've come down to South End on sea, to the seafront, to Adventureville, where I'm gonna get so adventurous and see if this weld has worked. Here we go. Oh, oh that's such an gnarly bump. Oh, oh, my neck almost broke, ow. Oh. That was so horrible. Gave myself whiplash. <laughs> oh. Right, the bike survived down that stair set then. The cranks are actually perfect, so thanks a lot to the welders for sorting that out. The steering is so sketchy like this with the stem backwards. It really makes it way harder than I ever thought. So in the next one, I definitely want to get the forks changed on there, put the bars in the correct position, and it'll probably be easier to shred. But that's only if it survives the finale, which is riding down this huge hill here. Let's see how that goes. This is it, dropping. Oh, oh, oh no, it's good. I'm fully sliding. Oh, 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 oh my God. It's turned into a motorbike. Oh no, the back wheel is fully out of line. The back wheel's almost come off. Oh no, it sawed a hole in the frame. Look. That was so scary for no reason. Oh, it's like bent the frame here a bit. Look, the wood's sort of bending a bit there. Got a bit of a flex on. Okay, 
That is certainly a good finale. I'm sorry I couldn't go faster. That is just the most difficult thing to ride, especially with that brake that you have to pedal backwards. Makes it in insane, and the front brake sucks. So on the next one, I want to change the fork so I can run a good front brake, so at least I can stop, then it should be better. And if this back wheel's actually bolted up properly, hopefully it won't move, and gnar can be shredded so, so hard. So, on that bombshell of wooden biking, downhill and welding that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it that'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe see you in the next one <laughs>